No, we but have. I want I want to make this very clear because this is a seven hundred and fifty dollar error that has happened because I was under the impression that I was getting filled at double oh seven, and my trades were being shown on the TD account that it was showing that I was getting filled at those prices. But you're telling me that I wasn't because there's an error in the TD software. And even though I was being shown that I was doing trades at 007 through TD, you're telling me that that software is not good and it's an error. And because of that, I made a mistake that cost me hundreds of dollars because I thought it was a 007, but in reality it wasn't because the software doesn't show the other digit. Is that correct or incorrect? Because that's what you said. That's what you just said. Remember, this conversation This conversation is being recorded by you and me right now. It is recorded on our side too, Mr. Tisosa, right? Yeah, I know. You're being recorded on your side and on my side. Because I'm a YouTuber and I got about 17,000 subscribers. And I just want to know that this software costs me about $750. And you're saying there's nothing you can do to help me even though you admitted that the software is flawed. Uh, no, but you did say, you did say, you hold on, you did say there's That's nothing not you can do I for said. me. You said there's nothing you can do for me. I said to you that I was watching the trades go through a 007. And you said that there's an error in the software because it doesn't show That's one extra. Said, the, the software isn't developed enough to show an extra That's digit. Not what I said, Mr. You said the software doesn't show the last digit. No, yes, you did. No, you said the software does not show the last no. digit. And because of that, remember, you're being recorded. And because of that, because of that, it got rounded up. And that's why I saw 007. And in reality, it didn't go through 007. It got through a 006, even though it never, ever traded at 006. It traded at, you said, 005, 0066, 0262. It never traded 006. So what I want to know is, did I get paid at 006 or was I getting paid at 0065, 0062? Like, how did I get paid on that trade? Or did it go through all of it? Well, you, all you seven. have access to it, right? And I said, so that you see the execution price. It shows right? 006. That's what it's showing me. So is my trades going through a 006 or are they going through a 0062? You went at different prices. Yeah, because on my account, it just shows 006. So is it is it going through a 0065, 0062, like you said? No, it's a different prices, yeah. But it went to the different prices. Then why, when you look in the TD account, does it show 006? Where are you looking at? Um, like so in my TD account, when I show like my, my trades and everything? Can and you send me a Well, you can see that it shows 006. Like my filled 750,000. No, I'm so confused. I so don't see what you see. You can't see what I see? It, it's no, like, I it shows 750,000 shares at 006. So I'm trying to understand if you're saying to me orders have come through at 200,000 shares at one price, 200,000 shares at another price, uh, you know, like all these different prices, did I get paid? at those prices or did it all go through at 006? That's what I'm trying to understand. All right, let me explain it to you, okay? I can give you all the fills. Do you have a pen? No, you, give, you already gave me the fills. I understand the fills. I'm, under, I'm trying to understand when you're paying me, am I getting paid at 006 for the whole you're block? You're getting paid on, on the whole thing. You're not, you're not being rounded up on a payout, Mr. D'Souza. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to understand. So everything, no. the actual order that you placed and another one is a presentation on a web broker in terms of execution and i want to stress it out we executed your, your order to, to the best of our abilities as the intermediary directed your order to the exchange in question got the execution reported back to your account as it was executed on the exchange okay our end of it is a commission that you get charged. So all the executions at those different prices, as I mentioned before, they start at double 
So how much how much went through a double O how much went through a double O six six? you had execution for fifty thousand. And how much went through a double O six five? Okay, so this is what's happening. So that's what happened. So the first 200,000 that got filled at 0066, it was showing as 007. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So that's why I was under the perception. That's what I, that's what I, yeah, that's what I told you. That's what I thought that would happen. Why, why you gave you that. Uh, so that flaw, that flaw, and the reason that that's happening, that's something you guys got to fix because you got people thinking one thing and it's another. I know. I know. Well, I know. We're not working at it. What I said is that it is a known issue, has been escalated, and uh, hopefully in the near future, like I said earlier, is that that uh, you know that adjustment would be made in order to show to the clients four digits after the point, right? But that known issue, no, that known no, issue, may, right? because because I saw it at 007, I thought. No, but you sent the order. So the first, the first, the first two, the first two hundred thousand shares at 0066, I get paid for that at 0066, not 006, correct? Of course. Okay. I just want to make that clear. That's what I want to make clear. Okay. I was, because, so another flaw that you guys should fix, okay, and maybe I should be a consultant with TD Bank because I'm a big YouTuber. Another problem you guys should fix is for a customer, when I see 750,000 uh, at six, I was choked because I thought all of it went through at six. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So if they can, if they can show those, those fills for the customer, then it makes more sense. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because I'm panicking thinking. Oh, I, do, I do, I do. But when you get on that, uh, uh, on that uh, arrow or, or triangle, Triangle to the left of your order, right? When it when it opens underneath the details of your execution, uh, do you uh, do you not see the fourth digits after the number, or, or you do? Uh, you know what? In the screen I was looking at, I actually I just turned my screen off right now. In the screen that I was looking at, I didn't uh, I I didn't see that. So that's what I'm saying. Can like you click on because you know how it is. There is line I tried order. I tried to click, click on, on it. I tried to click on it. I wasn't able to check. I will check next time. But that's something that you guys should maybe look into yeah. as well. Because as a customer, when I go to order status and I see 006, but I was watching it right. get filled in my face at 007, it was kind of shocking. Do you know what I mean? Right. That's right. what I'm trying to say. I understand. I understand. No, so, I completely understand. And as long as you guys are giving me my fills, as long as you explained it good, so I understand what you're saying, right? So I'm not, I'm not really angry, right? I, I kind of wish you could do something for me, but I understand. So I'm a big boy. I can handle it. So at least I know that it wasn't all at 006. That's what I was angry about. Cause no, definitely it's not. Uh, I can give you all the numbers. No, no, no. You gave them. You gave the numbers to me. I totally okay. understand that. I'm okay with that. I can live with that. I can live with that execution. But I was under the impression, because under order status, it said 006. So because of that, that's where I felt like, oh my God, I got screwed. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So... For a customer, for a customer, when they go to the order status, if you show like an average, 
Because really, I'm thinking my average is 006 now. And I'm like, holy shit. It is over, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I mean? If they show the extra decimal, if they show the extra decimal, it shows, oh, your average was 63. I would have been like, oh, okay, I can live with that. You know? I agree. I agree. So, and as a trader, and as a trader, and as a trader, I like TV. So when people ask me, because if you look at Rich TV Live, you'll see I'm on YouTube. I'm pretty big, right? So... If you, okay. if you see, I have a big audience, people all over the world watching my show, right? Um, I talk very highly about TV because I have accounts at TV and RBC and other places as well. And I like your execution, right? So this is a good learning experience for my audience and for people like even like me, because I usually, I usually do limit orders, but because this is a penny stock and it was up like a lot today, I thought, what if it goes down and it was up a lot? So I wanted to just get out as fast as I could. That's why I did it that right. way. I understand. I understand. Right. Well, look, there is positive and there is negative to anything, right? Exactly. Uh, you get fast execution, but the price suffers. Or you get slower, but you might not get fill on all of it. But do you, you know, guys, do you guys at TD, you... do you guys at TD try to get the customer the highest price? Or do you just try to get no, it filled course. quickly? Or it, no, no, no. price for our clients in terms of execution okay. wherever we can you know and that's actually i think it's not even our desire it's uh, it's i think it's an obligation fair market execution at least on canadian and uh, ukrainian markets and i'm sure it's in the u.s as well everybody wants to be uh treated fairly and everybody wants the best ex the best price execution and that's what we uh, do best to provide to our clients can I ask you a question? I, I work I work with um, uh, I, I I invest and in, you can see in my account I, I I like cannabis stocks. Do you see a huge uh, amount of more people are starting to invest in cannabis stocks than usual? Overall, uh, not necessarily just investing, say, but just. Well, well, look, I don't have all the statistics out, but obviously based on because the uh, volume my like. The volume uh, trading going on in those stocks, so definitely it's uh, it's popular nowadays. Like the volume is massive. Like I've noticed, like the volume with cannabis stocks is very massive compared to um, like anything else in Canada. Like gold stocks, yep. lithium. Yep. Like the volume isn't even close. Yep. Like the cannabis stocks have so much more volume than everything else. And I'm just trying to like, how do all these other industries even? coexist right now because it seems as though like everybody wants to buy cannabis stocks like but with the volume like that's what because i'm interested in like lithium gold and i buy some of these other stocks but they have no volume there's like no volume right. and then you look at the cannabis stocks and the volume is like millions and millions well, of shares it's just more interested we still have clients that uh, that uh, keep opening an account that keep uh, keep putting the money in so that creates a lot of transactions i heard when I call it, said that the volume of transactions processed by a by assets broker uh, at times is like you know it's, you have like on certain days uh, where it's double of normal or two and a half times normal uh, in the past you know and still spikes up from time to time so definitely it's kind of put a new spin on the uh, on the trading uh, uh, trading stocks in the, in Canada at least for the last uh, last year here. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Well, you know, listen, man, I really it's appreciate... Crazy. No matter who you talk to, that's all they talk to. Yeah, well, that's that's Because I'm in Vancouver. <laughs> I'm in Vancouver where it's like Cannabis Central. And I swear to God, like, uh, I have a CBD company that a partner of mine is working with. And we walked into a licensed right. producer. They offered us $3 million in cash and stock in the first meeting. And then on the second wow. the second phone call, they offered us $8 million. And, and, wow. and uh, the company's like very small sales. So like right. the industry's crazy. Like the amount of money they're throwing around yeah, is. is like nothing yeah. I've ever seen before. Like it, like gold was kind of like that uh, like a few years ago, but like gold has just totally died. And now everybody is. Uh, it reminds me more like a dot com era in the Correct. Correct. It's it's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So listen, man. If you ever um, want to see my channel, it's Rich TV Live. I'm on YouTube. And um, I appreciate you explaining this to me. I'm a big fan of TD Direct Investing. Keep up the good work. Thank, Thank you. you for explaining everything to me. 
in detail. I don't feel screwed. I understand why you did what you did. And if you guys can fix that last digit, I would be a much happier customer. And I'm sure all the other customers would be happy too. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll pass it on definitely, Mr. Sassuzzo. I appreciate your understanding and uh, I want to wish you a very nice evening then, all right? Thank you so much. Have yourself, a, with your investments. have yourself a great day, my friend. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. That's a TD Direct Investing, guys. So we had a great day today. Obviously, everything just exploded as predicted. <laughs> don't you guys? And look, I mean, I don't really have to say much. You can just see the screen. Everything is green. And that's what happens in this industry. We're at war. Shorters, the haters, the manipulators, the insiders selling versus the, the, the believers, the people, the dreamers, the people that want freedom, the people that want to make money. And uh, yeah, I did a trade today and it went really well. And I thought I made more than I did. I still did well, but I didn't make as much as I did because I thought I got out at 007, but I got out at some at 0066, some at 0065, some at double, all the way down to 62. So I didn't make as much as I wanted. I thought I made over two grand. I made, I think, about 1500 in about two hours. And I wanted to show you guys the whole trade. And I did. So. Hopefully you guys like the trade and look at all the winners today. It's like massive. Look at this. I mean, this is just, just a wonderful thing. And this is why we're in this industry, guys. You know, there's a lot of volatility. Buy in the red, sell in the green. I showed you how I can do that within the day. You can do it too. Anybody can do this. Buy in the red, sell in the green. This is a great industry. I love this industry. Anybody that tries to short this industry or be negative with this industry really doesn't understand what is happening here. This is a revolution. This industry is only going to get bigger. It's only going to get better. And there's going to be a lot of people that are going to try to hate and point fingers and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, I honestly don't care. You know, I'm a freedom fighter. I love this industry. I'm looking for this industry to explode and continue to get bigger and better and to change lives. And I want to be a part of it. And I hope you guys want to be a part of it too. And I love it. And congratulations to everyone who won today. Thank you, everybody, for your support. I can't believe where we are. It is just nutty. 17,114 subscribers, guys. Like, wow. Unbelievable. I love you guys. Without you guys, none of this is possible. We are one of the fastest growing communities for cannabis stocks and stock market education in the world. I brought you guys Cali today and in two hours we all made money and I told you guys I got out and I told you guys I'm going to show you how I'm buying and selling stocks and a lot of the stocks that I bought on Friday of last week are all now either green or very close to green. So tomorrow if we have green again, I will sell them most likely and I'll let you guys know. So we're going to keep you guys updated. If you're not winning, you're not watching. Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your own research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. I bought me some Cali. I sold me some Cali. Took the money and ran. I didn't really want to sell it. It was doing really well, but I thought, you know what? It's got a stop sign. It's very risky. Let me just take my money and be happy. And uh, yeah, that's what I did. So thank you guys for all your support. You guys can follow me everywhere, man. Absolutely free. I don't want your money, man. I'll never want your money. Just follow our news, follow our stocks. All the tools are there, man. Absolutely free. Cryptocurrency, all the tools are there. Exchanges, everything. Travel videos, sports, all the top sports channels are there. You want to learn about me? You want to join our secret stock picks group? Absolutely free. Join our group chat on Slack, Discord. You guys run the chat. Not me. I'm just there to post videos. You guys run the rooms. If people are being racist or prejudiced or being stupid, you guys get rid of them. You guys get rid of them. You guys police yourselves. I'm not here to police. I'm just here to, to, to bring picks and hits and help you guys get rich, man. It's true. Smash that like button. Comment down below. Holler at your boy. I just wanted to show you guys how you could call TD Bank and you could talk to them. I tried to get something out of them. They weren't willing to give me something. So I said, well, at least subscribe. Would you at least subscribe? <laughs> All right. I'm out. Peace. What a day for the winners. Aurora Cannabis, Afria, Cannabi Growth. It goes on and on and on. Yeah, man. We lit. <laughs>